Hello guys, welcome back to another Card Talk. If you don't know guys, Card Talks is a new series where I create topics each week. This is something that I can create or something that you can tell me or ask on the comments below or even on Instagram, such as this video guys. So stay tuned because more content like this is coming in. So briefly, I just want to say, as you can see, the background is not the same as it's been in the past three Card Talks. So this is actually my daily driver guys. I do drive a Kia Forte as my secondary car. You have seen the Camaro being dri driving because this was on the shop due to hail damage. So it's back, it's finally back. And this is probably gonna be the environment that you're gonna be in uh, here on the car talk since obviously it's a daily driver, something that I drive daily. Uh, so, and that's a different video. I do wanna introduce this car and and hopefully if, you, if you're if you looking for a secondary car, you can think of this one. You never know if you like it. And also bring in some new type of viewers, the, the key of viewers, you never know. So, you know, why not expand there? But anyway, guys, this video was asked by Ignite Auto, and he asked me, what is my five favorite modifications in the Camaro? And this was a very hard one, very hard one to do. Let me lower it down here because I have a lot of modifications and obviously if I spent the money is because I like them but um, I came up with five it was a hard decision but here you go so I did two exterior and three interior modifications and mainly because the interior modifications is something that I get to touch every day something that it enhances my driving experience and the exteriors mainly just look so for obvious reason my favorite ones are the ones that I can interact the most so let's start with the exterior the 5 gen to 6 gen bumper style is my favorite thing in the car and just it made it look more aggressive coming from a RS bumper which just looks like a little little baby Camaro and you put the, the 6 gen style bumper it just made it look a lot more aggressive it made it look like an older car if that makes any sense on the roughness and it's definitely one of the best decisions i've done uh, i did that when it was still not that much content on it so it was something that it was kind of scary because they were saying that that you had to cut the crash bar and you had to do this and then the gaps and this and that and i really wanted it it was a scary moment when i purchased it because i didn't know what was going to happen but thankfully it came out good and the second modification in the exterior that is a favorite one is definitely going to have to be the rotors, uh, the, the V8 Brembo's. Uh, those V8 Brembo's enhance the driving experience by far, especially when you're going to medium to high speeds. Hitting that brake gives you confidence and it, it don't stop out of nowhere, just clamps obviously because sport cars, if, you, if you're familiar, they, they tend to go smooth because you don't want to rope your your rotors or nothing like that so it's a very it's not going to be the same as braking hard but you could feel the difference you can feel more secure when you're braking your car is not shaking all over the place your steering wheel is not shaking all over the place it's honestly one of the best modifications i've done that it's going to enhance performance in the long run and now moving into the interior we have three for the interior and i believe that let's start with the first one and it's going to be the steering wheel the steering wheel is one of the best modifications I've done to the car and it's mainly because I was coming from a 2011 wheel if you haven't seen that it's just a big round wheel and you know I, I liked it while I had it but once I started looking into the carbon fiber era I just loved the 2012s and for some reason thankfully you can fit the 2011 to the 2012 so I did it a conversion so I did have to buy the airbag but that steering wheel just feels a lot better and it just looks a lot better. And just the way I got it, I got it flat, flat bottom and I think flat top on that. So now moving into the second, it's gonna have to be the seats. The seats is one of the modifications that you can tell right away. As soon as you go into the interior, they just catch your eye and it, they do feel better. They do feel better. You feel a lot more secure when you're doing corners and stuff. Getting out is something to get used to because of the big flaps on the sides, but it's nothing bad. Also, getting just getting used to driving in that spot because it's not like an electric one where you go up, down, far up, far down. You can't do none of that. So 
you just gotta get used to it but definitely one of the best modifications i've done and it changed the interior completely if i would have done any other modification some people would not even tell but those seats everyone's gonna tell so definitely that one and then my last one is a combination of a lot of modifications but i'm gonna count it as one so that car would not feel the same without the sound system i love music and music is something that i do every day going to work and not even just it's normal music sometimes like i do kind of blast it you know i, I do want to feel the power so if you guys don't know i modified every single speaker in there and added to 12s so that's definitely a game changer compared to stock and it's something that i'm proud but it's actually sounds very good i don't like bass on top of everything i just like everything nice and balanced and i achieved that with that and the, the best part is that it doesn't have electrical issues it's just the right amount so stay tuned because there is a video coming on on that where i'm going to show you all the speakers i put in there where they're at and what's the best setup because i believe i have one of the best setups without changing your alternator your battery or nothing like that it's everything stock and it works perfectly fine but without that modification i i doubt i'll be having as much fun in the car and that's gonna be all guys that's my five favorite modifications i want y'all to comment what what type of topics y'all want guys don't just leave it on me even though i do have some plans on different topics but you know i want i want to interact with y'all i want to have a a nice car talks and you know feel that we're connected so leave it in the comments if not put it on on instagram i do want to create polls to see different topics as well see what you are interested in guys but this is it for today i hope you liked and enjoyed and i'll see you on the next car talks